It began when I knew how to walk. I knew nothing else. It's, and it's absolutely true. I've never done anything else in my life. After university, I moved out west and uh, got my experience in filmmaking with a lot of productions from Hollywood North in Vancouver and uh, sort of cut my teeth in film and television there, working on big budget shows. I began uh, in theater. Uh, I started writing plays uh, for independent theater in university. And when I graduated, I uh, started producing plays in bars and whatever venues I could find. Uh, I was writing and directing and producing. And after a little bit of success in that, I uh, got an offer to go to the Canadian Film Center in uh, Toronto. I can't remember uh, doing anything different, trying to do anything different, uh, pursuing any other options except something in an artistic field. I've been uh, making my own films for about five years now, writing and directing and playwriting as well. The arts community in Atlanta, Canada is rich. There's a lot of different people that live here and there's just a really vast history that can be explained through story and through music and that's what makes this area unique. We say it's an oasis and it's, it's, not, a, it's not a joke. We really, we really believe that. I think it's a very supportive art community. I love all the great people that I get to collaborate with here. And I have uh, developed uh, an audience uh, for my work here, uh, and it's a really supportive audience. And that's in large part to do with uh, screenings at the Atlantic Film Festival, which has nurtured me for the past several years. It, it's sort of a staple in our community right now. You know, you think of making your first project, you think of the film festival. The Atlantic Film Festival Association uh, helps people who work and want to work or just be involved in the filmmaking uh, community or storytelling community. When I first moved to Halifax, Nova Scotia and was looking to break into this community as a writer and a director, one of the first places that I turned to was the Atlantic Film Festival. The AFFA touches um, the entire community from professionals right down to children, um, giving children through viewfinders the exposure to careers in the arts, to supporting professional filmmakers. Um, I mean, it has huge spin-offs uh, into the economy and into the community and the cultural landscape of the city and all the Atlantic provinces. Regardless of what people say, the arts is not a dying breed. Um, it just needs to be heard. It's a part of your life, from the pajamas you're wearing to the toothbrush you use to the cereal box you're eating from to the car you get in and the furniture you have. Those are all created by artists. Art just makes everything a little bit better. With the Atlantic Film Festival Association, you get that, that feeling of a one-stop shop for arts. Uh, where you're going to find every story, every song told by every Atlantic Canadian. We help promote and develop the film industry uh, within all walks, uh, the grassroots level. With Festival Nevan, we're going all over the Atlantic provinces, reaching, you know, going to rural regions that don't even have a movie theater. We definitely need all the help we can get to help us, you know, properly do our jobs and put on some amazing events um, because it's our pleasure to do that and we love being able to do it. For every donation that comes to Viewfinders, it's one more child that gets to experience film. That's the importance of donating to the Atlantic Film Festival. When you donate to the AFFA, you help tell the story of Atlantic Canada. Visit www.mystorymyarts.org and donate today. All donations are tax deductible. Donate online today.